Prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Let's take a look at the five C's and how we can better prepare ourselves with certain things. All right, so when we get into the five C's, you know, some kind of container or something that'll hold water or something like that. You want some type of uh, cover, whether it's a tarp or a poncho or something like that. Some type of cordage that you can tie stuff up with. You want a cutting tool, like a knife or something like that. And then some kind of combustion, like a ferro rod or a lighter. And as long as you have the five C's, you're prepared for a lot of things, but you can make sure things are a little bit better prepared depending on how you organize it. Now, one of the things that I like to do is to take my cordage and have it pre-assembled. Um, a lot of people hopefully know what a uh, ridge line is, and this right here is basically a ridge line I pre-set up. Um, I also ended up doing a bow line on it or end of the line bowling if you're into sailing and water stuff. Also attached some uh, Prusik knots to it that can be tethered to the uh, loops in the tarp shelter. And then I attached these uh, tactical toggles as well so you don't have to find individual branches or something else to put through it. So basically you can wrap this line around a tree or something like that. And if you have like a tent stake or something, I guess you can use this beer bottle as a tree example. But if you end up... Uh, running your line around a tree, what you can do is you can get a little bit of a bite here, stick a tent stake or a tree branch or something down in there, and then run it out and it'll kind of stake it around the uh, tree. So it allows you to quickly deploy it, set everything up, and it's all prepared. You're not sitting there in the rain or whatever circumstances you are trying to come up with something. It's already set up. Um, hopefully most people know how to tie a bowline. If you don't, there's ways online to show it. Um, same thing with doing the Prusik knots. They're pretty simple and easy. I might do a video on that later, but basically take this bundle and have this ready. I already have some stakes ready. In this case, instead of having a ferro rod, I have a lighter. And then I also have a fixed blade cutting edge. And all this stuff goes together in the bag. Um, just like that other uh, green bag had the adventurer knife that I showed in the prior video. All this stuff kind of goes together as a kit, so when it's needed, it's available. I want to get into something a little uh, smaller, about the size of a camelback. Um, this little Articus pouch right here holds a poncho. Inside of it, you can add additional things. Here, I'll end up having a ridge line. The ridge line has the uh, Prusik knots on it, but there is no uh, toggles or anything on it, so you'd have to find additional branches but it'll still run out pretty good. Still a decent amount of cordage attached to it. Instead of having a fixed blade, just end up having a small little uh, flipper knife here. But it's still a cutting tool that you can use. Have a lighter in here in case you need some kind of combustion. And then you have the poncho itself, which you can wear or tie the hood off and use as a tarp. But these are just some smaller sizes versus their 10 by 10 larger ones. And then you have your Five by sevens like Pathfinder and some others have. Just some ideas to go off of. Hey, as a content creator, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you guys would also do me a favor, check out Therapy Range. He's doing some awesome stuff. Shooting up a Ford Explorer, Ford Exploder. I mean, come on, you gotta check out his stuff. Doing some really great stuff. A lot of live fire shooting and everything. Something I wish I had a range to do. I'm jealous of that guy. But he has some really good content. You should check him out. Um, also, Always Survives, uh, he's into a lot of survival prepping stuff like I am, has some gardening and stuff going on, some really good stuff there. Also, Deer Sarge, um, Deer Sarge has his channel, Deer Sarge, and he also has one called Sarge's Smoke Break. A lot of people don't know about it. Um, Deer Sarge has a lot of neat humor stuff, not necessarily military theme, but it is military based. Um, his Smoke Break thing. Has a bit of prepper and growing stuff in there, some composting things. He has some stuff going on there too. So it's worth checking out and everything. Um, primarily, I'm a, a Rumble channel guy. I'm trying to expand my video stuff a little bit because I want my channel to grow. Um, but it comes down to people like you 
sharing and checking out different things, liking and following different things. I'm trying to get up to 200 followers. Um, I'm getting close. By you guys helping share and exchange information and follow stuff, it really helps out and everything. So I appreciate all your guys' support and everything. Thanks a lot. These uh, different shelter kits and everything, they can be useful in different circumstances and situations. Um, whether you're just going outdoors and need a poncho type thing because you're hunting and hiking and you want something small um, to where you want to put something in a vehicle for a survival kit or something like that to use. Um, or if you're going out camping and stuff like that. But each one of these has a little bit different use. Um, the Articus and Pathfinder stuff, which I think Pathfinder might be the Articus survival blanket thing. They're very similar. Um, but a lot of these are kind of simple use, emergency type stuff. Um, the D&D &D hammocks and the uh, Aqua Quest are a lot more durable type things. But you can use tarps in many different ways. As a police officer sometimes, running a ridgeline setup with some tarps or sheets, you can block off a crime scene if you need to by running them kind of flat up and down like a sheet type thing. Um, if you're out doing outdoor sporting events or at some kind of event or fundraiser and it starts raining, you can set it up as an overhang off of a pickup truck or between two vehicles. You can tie knots, put them in the door and run your tarp in between it so that you can have something go in there to shelter yourself or to block from the rain or to block from the uh, sun coming down or maybe somebody needs to change clothes or go to the bathroom outdoors. But these kits have everything they need in them to be set up pretty quickly. They go up just fine and you have everything together so you're not really searching for a lot of stuff. So hopefully this is an idea of some stuff you can put together and everything. Check it out, think about it. And like I said, you don't need to do all this. I know this is a, a lot and most people aren't ever gonna hit it, but depending on your needs, sometimes something small in your vehicle just to have can be handy or it might be able to help out a buddy on a hot day or when it's raining or you get caught in a storm or something like that. But I hope you enjoyed this. Cav Cop out.